I've got uh, Windows 11 running on Parallels here. Now, I was always curious whether WSL2 or Windows Subsystem for Linux can work inside of a virtual machine. I gave this Windows machine eight cores of CPU and 24 gigs of RAM. Yeah, it's, it's a beast of a virtual machine right now. I'm gonna try to install WSL2 on it. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna open up PowerShell, right click, run as admin, because it needs admin rights to do that. And then all you gotta do is just say WSL dash dash install. This could blow up on my face or it could work. It's doing it. What? It's doing it. <laughs> wow. This thing is actually installing, check it out. According to this, everything was successful and I need to reboot. Let's do that. Please don't let it update. Ah, son of a... Every time I reboot Windows, I swear. No idea how long this will take. Hey, look at that. Let's go to terminal. Windows terminal. Installing Ubuntu. Not until we see Ubuntu running am I gonna be convinced that this is actually gonna work. Now, by the way, this experiment is um, not super necessary because you can just install the ARM version of Ubuntu directly in parallels as a virtual machine without Windows. I wonder which one would be faster. Let me know if you want to see that. Well, I don't know what's happening right now, but this should have been done by now. I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah, this is highly unusual. Okay, I think we have an answer here. Basically, it's complaining that um, the virtual machine could not be started because the required feature is not installed. Let's try that again. This time, I'm actually including the distribution, the distro for Ubuntu. It's giving me that error. Let's try that again without the distro. <sighs> I'm afraid it's a no-go. I was looking forward to this. All right, so I've been doing some research. There's a feature here under the configuration and settings under CPU and memory advanced. Now, there used to be a feature here where you can have nested virtualization and now that feature is gone. So here is what it used to look like. This is all my old iMac Intel based machine. You can see that in the same settings, we have enable nested virtualization as an option, but it's not anymore. So I found a solution for this that kind of fixes it, but not in the best way that I wanted to. Basically, you have to use WSL version one instead of version two and version two is better. So you got to downgrade WSL if you want this feature. This is the command used to downgrade the feature. WSL set default version one instead of two. After you run that, then the install command executes successfully. And here we are on Linux. Oops, PWD, there's my home directory on Linux. That's what we got. Well, in conclusion, yeah, it's not ideal to have WSL1 instead of WSL2, and it's also not ideal to have a virtual machine inside a virtual machine. So WSL inside of a virtualized Windows environment is not the best, but hey, if you want Windows inside a Mac, you virtualize it. And this version of Windows is the ARM version of Windows, which is pretty cool. And then if you need WSL inside of that to integrate with your Windows programming or whatever you're doing on Windows, you have that environment available to you, albeit in a different version than WSL2, but at least it's something and there are ways to get it to work. Oh, and in case you're wondering whether this version of Ubuntu is automatically installed as ARM, it is, check it out. If you run dpackage print architecture, ARM64,